critical infrastructure around the world is at the mercy of these cyber attacks. And hackers look for the targets where they expect the greatest profit, mostly in North America and Western Europe. But also other regions are hit by these well-coordinated attacks. In 2019, attackers broke into the network of India's largest nuclear power station. In 2021, an attack on a pipeline provider led to panic buying and gas shortages in the US. And in 2022, hackers paralyzed the computer systems of the government of Costa Rica. Each of these incidents had impact locally in the country or the region where it happened. However, should an adversary, a cyber attack group, decide to launch several attacks at the same time, simultaneously, in many different countries around the world, the impact to that would be potentially devastating. Can a cyber attack actually shut down an entire nation? As a result of digitization in recent years, some parts of infrastructure have undergone massive changes. And many things can no longer be done without digital systems. Now back to our case from Germany. How exactly did the attack impact the critical infrastructure? What you don't see from the outside is that the software of the offices is connected within our IT infrastructure. Nothing works anymore. No cash register software, no alarm system. In the small county in the middle of Germany, the public infrastructure failed completely. All authorities responsible for around 160,000 people had to close. The citizens were worried. Of course people wonder, can the office still pay out welfare, alimony or benefits for the elderly? Only very slowly did it become clear what impact the cyber attack had on both the population and the administration. We've lost all emails from the last 20 years. They're all gone and we'll never get them back. How do I explain that to my colleagues and employees? Sorry, everything's gone. Because many use their email system as a filing system and an archive system to store all the emails there. The situation was so messy that the district declared a state of emergency. That normally only happens during natural disasters like huge floods, but not because of a cyber attack. That way, the armed forces could send their cyber experts to help the authorities regain control of the network. That really helped us, because at the time, our IT team did not have enough manpower. It still took weeks until the authorities were slowly operating again. This had a massive impact on the people in the region. The full car dealership, for example, couldn't register any new vehicles for a period of four weeks as the authorities in question weren't able to work. And without license plates, cars couldn't be delivered to new owners. Sales came to a halt, a bitter loss for the company. In that quarter, we made a loss of approximately 750,000 euros. All in all, it took the county about a year to repair all the systems, not to mention the financial damage. The threat of cybercrime is growing. That's why we need to know more about everything that's interconnected in our society.